You're watching Global News Morning. Well, I was online recently and I saw a $36,000 original Maude Lewis painting. So I did a little digging and discovered the seller is actually from Nova Scotia and he grew up in Digby County where the famed Maude Lewis spent most of her adult life. Chad Brown has been collecting the late artist's work for years now and has turned his love of Lewis's art into a thriving business, selling her prints and some of her original work to collectors and Maude Lewis fans around the world. So we thought we'd invite him on the show to find out a little more about him and how he got into all of this. So Chad Brown joins us live this morning from Timberley, Nova Scotia. Hey Chad, good morning. Good morning, Lisa. How are you? I'm great. What an impressive display behind you there. So this is just Thank a sample you. of some of the prints and some of the original artwork you have of, of Maude Lewis's. How did you get into all this? How did this start? I was just very fortunate to find a large collection of silkscreen prints. I, I was only looking for a couple, but when I had an opportunity to purchase hundreds, um, I couldn't turn it down. So once I started um, selling some of these uh, silkscreen prints, I seen an opportunity. And it was because of those silkscreen prints that I was able to purchase my first Maude Lewis uh, original painting. And then from there, it was just one after another. Yeah, your business has been has been thriving. We talked on the phone yesterday for quite some time, and you know we talked about this this film, this Hollywood film, Maudie, with with this Sally Hawkins and with Ethan Hawke, of course, that just blew up when it hit theaters and did so well. So, what sort of benefit did you see? I'm assuming once that movie hit theaters just a few years ago, things really exploded uh, for you and your business. It certainly got a lot of Maude Lewis paintings out of the closets and out of the attics and into the hands of other people. And uh, it just gave a, a, an opportunity for people to buy Maude Lewis who didn't otherwise have that opportunity because they were stored away and nobody knew the real value of it. And uh, it, it brought a popularity to, uh, to Maude Lewis on an international basis that otherwise would not have been known. So that's what I'm curious about, Chad. Who is, who, who is buying these? Are they mostly Nova Scotians, a lot of people from Digby County, or are they people from, from other parts of the world? Who, who purchases their prints and, and paintings? Well, I'm certainly buying from Digby County, and I'm selling um, internationally. Uh, it's, it's a split between Western Canada, you know, Ontario, BC, Alberta, uh, certainly a lot to PEI, a lot to the United States and uh, a lot to Australia. Uh, basically, a lot of these places are playing that movie Maudie over and over again, and her popularity is becoming greater simply because of her movie. Yeah, incredible. Yeah, that movie, I'm sure, did a lot for your business, and it was also just a really great movie if you haven't seen it. So I want to talk about this $36,000 Maude Lewis <laughs> painting. I know it was on Facebook, a marketplace. I saw it on there. Yes. It's called, and I think we have a picture of it here, the famed uh, pair of three-legged oxen, which if you're a Maude Lewis fan, you know that one. I, I, there's the picture of it there. How did you acquire it, and, and is it still available, Jack? It is still available. Thank you for asking. Um, I actually drove down to Yarmouth, Nova Scotia for this one. And, uh, you know, I can't go into details about who, but uh, it was from a, an older couple. And uh, they've had this all their life, just like most people have. Every single painting I have purchased has, uh, has been original owners. And, um, and then it just, it just makes the story even that much better. But uh, it's certainly available. And this particular image is, uh, is very nice. And I know, you know, chatting with you again yesterday, you did have some backlash when you put this up online for sale. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Because this surprised me a little bit, but you did have a lot of people that were not so happy about this. Well, I think people need to understand that Maude Lewis painted serial images, meaning she painted the same images over and over and over again. Um, as an example, the famous three cats or one cat, if you Google it, there are hundreds of them. And that is the exact same thing with the two oxen in winter. There are, there are literally hundreds of them. And uh, there's different variations of it. And with mine, it's pretty clear if you compare them side by side, there are two different images. Um, but people just need to uh, be reminded that there are hundreds of variations of a lot of these images. 
Right. Okay, uh, Chad, what's the most you've actually had somebody um, spend on one of the Maude Lewis paintings you've had? I think that's something that some of our viewers might be a little curious about. So what is, what's, the, what's the highest price someone has paid for one of, the, one of the pieces that you've acquired? It all comes down to the image. And a lot of people do like the summer images or the harbor images. So anytime I get my hands on something that's of a higher quality or even more rare, uh, it will always fetch a higher amount. Uh, I think the highest that I have sold has been just north of forty thousand um, dollars. The majority of the paintings are between twenty-five and thirty-five thousand dollars, but of course that will change as the market changes. Mm -hmm. uh, but just north of forty thousand uh, dollars is the most that I have sold a painting for, and um, and they will continue to go up. I do want to mention, we do have to wrap. I told you this interview was going to go by fast, and I wish I had longer with you because I find this fascinating. But you are not just a collector. You really appreciate her work. You know a lot about Maud Lewis. I, you are an expert. I talk to you, and you are. it goes beyond just you know you, you doing this as a business opportunity. You really do have a real understanding of her and what she was all about, and, and you're a historian in some ways, too. So, uh, again, if you want for more information, I think, yeah, the website's right there on your screen, modprints.ca, if you want to learn a little bit more about Chad or see some of the prints he has available. Pretty cool collection. Chad, thanks for this. It's, it's great to get some of your time this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you, Elise. Have a great day. Right. Thanks, Chad Brown there. Art collector, Maude Lewis art collector, and, and Maude Lewis enthusiast, perhaps one of the biggest enthusiasts we have in this region. All right, we're back with more in two minutes.